interactive trapdoor guide, Unreal Engine 5. Hey guys, welcome to Six Labs. My name is Rise, and this is Leroy. Today we're going to create a simple interactive trapdoor system that you can rematch later with grass, dirt, or anything to match your level and create hidden traps. This is our third video in our 5 minute mechanic series, so don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this, or visit our playlist at Six Labs to quickly learn new abilities that you can add to your game. Let's begin. So for our trap door to swing open, we're going to need to change the pivot point. That way it's not swinging open from the middle. So to do that, we're going to create a new basic object here. We're going to create a shape and make it a cube. And we're just going to flatten this down a little bit. And now we're going to go up to selection mode, go down to modeling mode, and we're going to go to X form and convert this into a static mesh. You're going to press accept. And now you'll have edit pivot as an option. Now you can press that. We're going to change our selector to the side here. Press accept again. Now go to bake transform and now press accept again on this. And now you've just created your new static mesh floor tile here. And if you look to the right, you'll see it generated a name for it. So we're going to click the magnifying glass and we're just going to rename this to SM trapdoor. Um, I already have a folder for this. So I'm just going to move this really quickly to my trapdoor folder. And here we go. Now I'm going to place our trap into our level and we can delete this old one and this is going to be our trap door. So I'm going to change our material to shape to basic shape material and now we're set. So now that we have our new static mesh with our altered pivot point, we can make our trap door. So we're going to press control space, open our content drawer, right click, go to blueprint class. We're going to make this a actor blueprint. We're going to name it BP trap door and we're going to open this up. We're going to give it a static mesh component. And over to the right, we're going to use this drop down and we're going to give it the trap door we just made. And now we can give it a collision. So we're going to give it a box collision. And we want to size this now to our box. All right. And now we can press compile save and highlight our box collision to the left. And we want to scroll down now on the right to on component begin overlap. So all our code is going to be right here. We can delete these and we're going to start with a branch. So from here, we're going to do other actor is equal to our character. So we're going to do get player character and we're going to plug this into condition. So now if our character steps over our tile here, we're going to add a delay. And 0.2 is pretty instant for it to fall in. So we want to do like 0.4. You can almost clear it, make it a little suspenseful. And now we're going to add a timeline. And we're going to name this activate trap. And now we can double click this, open our timeline and we're going to add a new track and we're going to add a new float track. So once we have this, we can name our float track trap activated. And we're going to right click, add a new curve key. And in our time here, we're going to make this zero and zero to reset it to the beginning. And we're going to add another key now and make this 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So this is going to make this even curve right here. We can compile, save, go back to our event graph. And from trap activated, we're going to make this a lerp. And we can now hold control and make our point down to here. Our starting point will be zero and our bottom one will be 180 degrees. So from update, we're going to go set relative rotation. And this we want it to our static mesh, not the collision. And we're now going to split our rotation here. So we're going to right click split struck pin. And we're going to plug our return pin into our X roll rotation. And now we can compile, save, go back to our level, delete our static mesh one and bring in our trap door with our code. And now we can bring this up here. That way we can jump on it, flatten this a little, bring this up. And we're going to make it so our pivot point is facing this direction. So when we jump on it, it should drop us from this side. Yep, there we go. So now, as you see, we can use this to make false floors and traps that'll fall in. Um, that was a little slow. We can definitely make this faster. 
and use a point one. It didn't even look like I touched it there. I think 0 0.2 is the uh, sweet spot for this. Yeah, that happened pretty instantly there. And you can do this like I have up here. Um, ignore the mouse chasing me. <laughs> and have it drop us into a pit. Or build these out to disguise traps and your obstacles. And they'll never see you coming. But most importantly, you can texture these to add fun hidden traps to your level. I hope you guys enjoyed that easy trap floor system. And if you did, please give us a like and subscribe. I'll be back next week with a new video and I hope to see you there. So until then, see you guys.